Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. I have a project to share with you. I don't have a laminating machine, so I wanted to try my mink and see if I could laminate with my mink. Of course, this is left up to your own discretion. This machine is not made for laminating, so it's up to you if you want to use your machine for this, and I do not take responsibility for any damage to your mink. Now I've been using mine and nothing has happened to it. So now that that is out of the way, let's go ahead and show you what I've done. I've used the waterfall photo sleeves and also this brand here, the Snap Photo Flip Pockets. And I've also used these little bags from AC Moore. They are the little cellophane bags. So I wanted to try different products and see what gave me the best results. So we'll start with the little one. This gave an excellent result. It uh, adhered to the little pocket perfectly and that is what that looks like. The next one I did was, let's see, this one was the We Are Memory Keepers and that also gave a pretty good result. And that's what that looks like. And then also the snap is this one here. And I do insert a piece of cardstock before I run it through with my uh, my uh, carrier sheet. That way you can open the pocket a lot easier because I discovered that when I the first one I did, I tried to open up the pocket and the laminating sheet separated from the um, from the pocket, the little plastic pocket I put in there. So it actually gave me a pocket in the front, a pocket in the back, and then of course this would have been the original pocket, and that separated that as well. So you ended up with three little pockets. And that could be the start of a whole new design. So I'm going to kind of work with that. I want to uh, just grab a couple pieces of paper so you can see that. Okay, so I'll show you once again. I'm just going to cut some scraps. So you ended up with this front pocket here and then the back pocket here and then of course a center pocket just cut a piece of scrap and oh my gosh look you've got three different pockets that you can create something with. Now, if I take one of my other pockets that I ran through, I'll show you how that does separate. If I can get my finger in there, and there you can see that it's starting to pull away. But I think once that you seal it with washi at the top or with uh, scotch tape, it won't separate on you. So that is the... Uh, findings that I discovered while using the mink as a laminator. I did laminate everything on the setting number three and then I did a couple other things with it. I wanted to see if I could run some uh, stickers through it and see how those turned out. So uh, I took a just a flat sticker and I added uh, glitter to the back that was sticky and added that to my laminating piece and then ran it through and that turned out great so you can make paper clips out of this and then I tried this one and this was a dimensional kind of puffy sticker and part of it went flat and part of it stayed a little puffy so uh, that just goes to show you another uh, issue with that but I like it. I still use it. Uh, I think it came out adorable. And the way I do mine, 
I'm just I'm not going to turn my machine on. I'm just going to show you uh, how I actually put it together. Oh, here's one that I didn't add glitter to the back. I just did a straight up sticker, so that turned out cute as well. So many possibilities with that. So what I do is I get my sleeve. Let's see. Here's just an extra piece of the laminating sheet. And then I'll just get my item that I want to laminate. If it's a pocket, I'll get my little pocket. If it has adhesive at the top, I just cut that adhesive off. So I'll cut that off like that. And then I'll position this so that I leave a little bit of an edge on the side in case you want to put it into your planner and you can poke holes once you laminate it. So I've got my laminating sheet, my pocket, my plastic pocket, and then this goes on top. And with the, the little bags that I got at AC Moore, I didn't have a problem with it sticking. Um, I could open the pocket very easily, so I didn't put any strips of paper into that one. And so then this would go into my carrier sheet that came with my mink, and then I would feed it through. So there you go, and um, I think I'll be having so much fun creating different things with these pockets. I'll probably show you one of my creations with this three pocket bag which will really be awesome to to experiment with so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed this video and if it was helpful don't forget to give me a thumbs up thanks again for watching take care